Hello, and welcome back to Junk Botics. My name is Andrew. In previous videos, I showed you how to tear down and reuse mattress inflators for your own projects. I've got some additional video that I'd like to show you, so let's roll it. Alright, uh, just a couple of things I noticed while I was putting some of the stuff back together. Uh, one of this fan, uh, yeah, before I put everything in. Now some things, curious things about this fan. See those little nubs and whatnot? I believe those are for balancing the fan. I guess whenever they uh, cast this or, you know, injection molded or whatnot, it probably isn't fully balanced and they probably put these uh, nubs in place or whatnot maybe to, uh, well, it's either to help get it out of the mold or it's uh, to... Uh, balance it. I wouldn't, uh, say, you know, there wouldn't be any reason for them to keep them on there unless it was for some kind of a balancing. The other thing is, is, uh, there's this, uh, little, uh, hex indent on here. What that's for is actually that, uh, is to attach it to the, uh, to the end of the motor. If we, uh, look at the motor here, see how the, uh, uh, see how the, uh, adapter, shaft adapter has, um, you know, it's, it's hex. Well, that, uh, goes in there, uh, just fine. And the only other thing that I wanted to point out as well, oh, I was able to uh, get those uh, those little uh, those little lock washers out. You can see uh, you can see right here. Uh, you know, I got them out. You know, just used uh, just used this uh, jewel, this little jeweler screwdriver and uh, was able to pull them out just fine. So uh, yeah. And uh, the only other thing I wanted to say is uh, you know the putting these uh, screws back in place. Keep them around. Keep them with the motor. That way. Uh, you know, if you wanted to mount it to uh, something else, the piece of metal or some other bracket, well, there you go. You have it. You don't have to worry about it anymore, uh, trying to find them and everything. Just keep them with the motor, and uh, they can probably be, uh, you know, sunk down a little bit lower, you know, maybe a, you know, a little halfway more um, before, you know, but you can screw them in, you know, rotate the shaft, make sure the shaft isn't uh, touching them or anything, you know, armature isn't banging against them or something, but really shouldn't. You know, you can see in there there should be plenty of room. Anyhow, you know, just wanted to let you guys know that. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so I decided to try an interesting experiment with this uh, DC motor. Um, I went ahead and reattached the fan to it and everything and hooked up, uh, hooked up, uh, the, uh, hooked up the power supply and it's all plugged in. And uh, just mounted it here on my uh, on my workbench, and uh, we can just uh, turn it on, and you know, of course, the motor is going to start up. Now, you can see that it isn't uh, quite as loud as it was. Well, it's not inside of a case or anything, but uh, what is interesting is notice what happens when I put my hand over it. If I bring it close, notice the sound change. Now it's actually sucking my hand down, you know, basically because it's blowing air out the sides of the fan. And um, it's, uh, I don't want to get too close because it'll probably hurt if my hand hits it. But it's actually sucking the hand down and putting a load on the motor. And if I take it off, it uh, changes again. Now I'm going to turn it off because uh, these, uh, these wires, oh man, you wouldn't believe how warm they are. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. This thing's actually drawing quite a lot of current. Uh, not enough to uh, not enough to trip it. It's obviously, but uh, these wires they're not really. I don't think they're meant to uh, handle the amperage. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys. All right. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that additional footage. If you guys are doing any of projects on your own, or you're doing something with junk or robotics, or you have any questions or ideas for projects I can do here on my channel. Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing, share it with your family and friends and let them know what I'm doing here. Hey, I'll even take your likes. Anyhow, thank you again for watching this video. And until next time, remember, keep calm and keep junking. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.